comrades and friends uh, the uh, united nations <coughs> uh, that the climate conference annual climate summit held by united nations uh, 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 has just concluded uh, and uh, it was held during november 6 to november 18 in the sharal sheik uh, of egypt and almost 195 uh, countries part- participate countries from the world participated in it more than 35000 civil society organizations and ngos along with the many uh, uh, mnc's lobbies were all there and uh, the conference was held it is known as cop 27 conference of parties cop 27 so the last one was in glasgow the forthcoming is in uae the 28 will be in uae so this conference was held in the context of what uh, united nations uh, secretary general antonio guterres said that humanity is in a climate hell which means that unless resolute actions are being taken unless some immediate uh steps are being taken the world will be entering into a catastrophic situation which can which where there will not be any point of any any return so this is this was the situation but what to happen to us that even though corporate media is posturing or uh, is actually uh, saying propagating that it was a positive success or it contributed many things it was nothing like that actually it was a retrograde the conclusions the outcome of the conference is actually very uh, what is negative and it is disappointing because uh, the most important issue that was taken up or that should have been taken up or that should have been decided was the uh, the 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 position that was taken in paris agreement 7 years ago at that time an agreement was an understanding was reached that uh, uh, the uh, the warming the temperature uh, should be reduced by 1.5 celsius below pre industrial levels that means what was the uh, that means only by bringing this uh, reducing by 1.5 celsius that uh, global warming or global temperature can be put to the same level as that of the pre industrial situation but such an effort such a no movement no move was there in this direction actually one important decision that should have been taken was regarding the reduction in fossil fuels including coal there also though some decisions were there it was not a, a, no, it was not at all binding no countries have taken a binding uh, uh, the, the that uh, the conference has taken no binding agreement on this and the european countries especially germany and the others had especially germany they had earlier stated that they will move away from fossil fuel consumption and they will reduce coal consumption etc but in the context of the ukraine war what has happened was that the uh, because us interests are there <coughs> north stream 1 and north stream 2 that the pipeline that uh, brings gas from russia is obstructed because of the ukraine war therefore this uh, energy crisis is very serious in europe and to in that situation germany has actually withdraw withdrew from what agreement it was or what proposal it was already stated therefore there was no and germany is now going for more fossil fuel consumption this is the situation and in the cover of uh, in the pointing out the ukraine uh, war uh, and pointing out the energy crisis and rising prices of uh, the oil and other things many countries of the world were used it as an opportunity to abstain from taking any responsibility in the climate conference as a whole what happened was that it was a stage managed one <clears throat> where more than 
സിക്സ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ലോബി ഈസ്റ്റ് വെയർ ദർ റെപ്രസെൻറ്റഡ് ബൈ വേൾഡ്സ് മൾട്ടിനാഷണൽ കോർപ്പറേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഈ ദേ വെയർ ആക്ച്വലി ലോബിയിങ് ഫോർ ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റിങ് ദെയർ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് എഗൻസ്റ്റ് ദി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്ലോബൽ പീപ്പിൾ ബിക്കോസ് വി മസ്റ്റ് നോ ദാറ്റ് ഈ ഗ്ലോബൽ വാമിംഗ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ലൈക്ക് ദീസ് ഇൻക്രീസിംഗ് ലൈക്ക് ദീസ് ദൻ ഓൾ ഐലൻഡ് നേഷൻസ് വിൽ ബി വൈഫ്ഡ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് വേൾഡ് മാപ്പ് ദർ വിൽ നോട്ട് ബി ദി ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഓഷ്യൻ ലെവൽ വിൽ ഇൻക്രീസ് നാച്ചുറലി ഇറ്റ് വിൽ വൈപ്പ് ഔട്ട് ദി വാട്ട് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ഓഷ് ഐലൻഡ് നേഷൻസ് സോ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി ആപ്രോവേഷൻ ലാറ്റ് അമേരിക്കൻ കൺട്രീസ് വെയർ മജോറിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ വേൾഡ്സ് ഓപ്പറസ്ഡ് പീപ്പിൾ ആർ ലിവിങ് സോ ദർ ആക്ച്വലി ബെയറിംഗ് ദി ബേഡൻ ഓഫ് ദീസ് ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ക്രൈസിസ് സോ ദി ഇമ്പെൻറ്റിങ് ബിക്കോസ് വി നോ ദർ ആർ മെനി ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇൻ ക്ലൈമറ്റ് വിച്ച് ആർ ഫാസ്റ്റ് ഗോ ഇൻക്രീസിങ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് റിപ്രക്കഷൻസ് ഓൾ ഓവർ ദ വേൾഡ് and the those who are suffering this climate crisis suffers from climate crisis are the poor people while the biggest countries for example america and china who are the biggest consumers of this fuel especially fossil fuel today and uh, they are the biggest consumers of in general energy actually they have not bear the burden or they have not done anything regarding the uh, alleviating this question even though us has a set apart a 100 billion uh, dollar fund for helping the countries uh, that means uh, in helping the poor countries etc but there is nothing regarding how it will implement how it will be allocated regarding that no uh, nothing was there but this is a very paltry sum very small sum because you take the case of qatar qatar is spending more than almost 250 billion dollars Uh, for organizing the world football so compared with that this us setting apart the the, the number one country which is actually the number one in energy consumption it is setting apart just 1 billion dollars is nothing in the present compared with the needs of the time so the essence of the meeting and not only that the meeting was sponsored by coca cola uh, world's number one Uh, multinational mnc a polluter number one polluter which is known as a polluter company so this is the and the, so that it quite 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 clearly the interest of these uh, companies will be uh, uh, there they are there they are protected even our government very interestingly the representative of indian government who were who was there in the the scope 27 uh, uh, this representative said that we are many rhetorics were there that uh, about the reduction in coal consumption reduction in fossil fuel consumption etc but when that uh, cop was going on actually <laughs> modi was actually uh, he was giving uh, he was uh, what is called uh, auctioning 141 coal mines to private corporates this is what is happening so rhetorics are there but the act- actions are on the contrary so this is the uh, in the, we can understand what is happening there so this world climate conference what, what is the problem why it failed so because we must understand it is a political question it can be resolved only through politically it can resolved only through a change in the development paradigm the neo liberal development paradigm that is being pursued today corporatization should be abolished and therefore a political solution is needed no such a thinking no such agenda was there in the climate conference it cannot be resolved through technical methods it cannot be resolved through some what is called some stop gap arrangements or some ad hoc arrangements or some indoor dressing resolute actions are needed resolute political actions are needed for overcoming this and for that it should be understood in the proper way what is the cause of the climate crisis today it is because of the plunder of nature it is because of the unhindered unfettered plunder of nature by the most corrupt corporate capital it is a corporate capital that is plundering nature that is a result that is a reason for the present climate crisis it is not people so the present development the development which is actually uh, concentrating wealth in the hands of a few uh, financial oligarchies a few corporate billionaires and uh, 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 what is called uh, terrific levels of wealth concentration is there and on the one hand there is uh, uh, this poverty and deprivation is increasing at an unprecedented level it is because of the development paradigm and one important 
reason for this wealth appropriation is the plunder of nature by corporate capital. And in all countries, environment regulations are deregulated, uh, are being taken away. In our country also, this environment impact assessment uh, implemented by Modi is giving license to corporates to plunder nature without any control. So this is what is happening. Therefore, we must stand for it. We must take a position on what should be a development paradigm which can uh, move in uniform with or move in uh, tandem with the nature or environment. And for that, we need a pro-nature, pro-people, pro-women development paradigm. That is the requirement of the day. In this context, an important thing which I want to mention is that, say, we must understand that today, along with the super exploitation of labor, the corporates, the finance capital is actually uh, exploiting nature also. So, along with the labor, plunder of nature, exploitation of nature, plunder of uh, uh, labor, plunder of nature is also a source of profit today. So, it is this profiteering by corporate capital that is the reason for the present climate crisis. And in that context, CPML Red Star's party program, we have already stated, taken a position that uh, today, along with the other contradictions, along with the contradiction between capital and labor, such other contradictions, one major contradiction today is the contradiction between capital and nature. So, that is that explains the whole thing. What is the reason for the present climate crisis? What is the reason for the impending climate catastrophe? A political understanding of the situation is needed. A political solution is needed. And an alternative development paradigm, a political alternative capable to put forward a development paradigm where the hum humanity can live in harmony with nature. That is the need of the hour today. Unfortunately, such an analysis, such an approach was actually lacking in the uh, COP27, the World Climate Summit today. Uh, that has already happened. This is what is to be understood from the that uh, uh, just concluded uh, climate summit. This is our position.